Hey guys, I just wanted to come on today with a quick encouragement, especially for those of us who are parents. So if your children have put their faith in Christ, then they are your brothers and sisters in Christ. If they haven't yet put their faith in Christ, then keep praying for them and keep showing them the gospel and loving them. Um, and if they're in Christ, then not only are they our children, but they are part of God's family. And so we need to be treating them as if they are our brothers and sisters in Christ. So building them up in the word and in the gospel, just continuing to show them who they are and correcting them with meekness and gentleness and just giving them the kind of love that you would give adult brothers and sisters in Christ. So I wasn't... I had a conversation with one of my kids today. I wasn't going to share it, but I had a little drive afterward and decided, yeah, I'm going to share this. As I was thinking about it, I thought, yeah, I'm going to share this as an encouragement. I don't mean it to be like, oh, I'm such a great parent. I mean, believe me, I mess up. But I want to give examples of what it looks like to be walking in the truth and in the spirit and in love with our children. So, um, one of my sons, he is just this servant hearted, organized, um, kind of holds it together kind of a guy. And he's surrounded by scattered artistic types in our family. And if it weren't for him and my husband, who my husband is also a servant hearted, organized kind of a guy, I think that our family could potentially. <laughs> So there are a lot of things that they do or, you know, specifically I was thinking about my son that he does that just go unseen. And, um, you know, we try to appreciate him and show him how much we love the things that he does. But he's just, you know, there's just a lot that he does for the kingdom that wouldn't necessarily be thought of as for the kingdom. And so I just pulled him aside and... And I said to him, you know, hey, I just wanted to remind you that you are fully accepted by the Lord Jesus Christ. You are complete in him. You have everything that you need through what he's done for you on the cross. And he loves you no matter what you do, no matter what you fail to do. His love for you never changes. And that's the same for me. But I also want you to know that he sees. He sees the little things. He sees you doing the dishes when other people forget. He sees you playing with your little sister when everybody else has been too busy. He sees those things and he takes joy in it and you'll be rewarded. Those things that you do to show love for one another, for others and to bring just peace and harmony to the world and to your family. God sees them. And when you stand before the Bema seat, judgment seat, I imagine you're going to be rewarded for those things. So, um, I just wanted to encourage him and build him up in who he is in Christ. And I think that's something that a lot of us didn't experience as kids. And, you know, don't get them mad at your parents because they probably didn't know how to do it. And we're probably not doing it. But it's just a really good idea to remember that our children in our house are part of the body of Christ and that we can treat them that way. We can give them the encouragement that they need, just like we would encourage one another as adults. So I hope this blesses you. I hope that you look at your kids and you see them as co-heirs with you in the inheritance that we have from Christ and that you treat them with love and respect and meekness and gentleness and kindness because that's the way we treat family. That's the way we treat our brothers and sisters. We can correct them, but we can do it with a spirit of meekness and gentleness and kindness. And that's going to go a long way. And hopefully it will capture their hearts uh, for not only for the sake of connection as a family, but also for the sake of just growing spiritually and a, a spiritual foundation in the Lord. So be blessed today and we'll talk to you later.